Well, today is an exciting day for Ole Miss women's basketball. We signed four recruits early on, and uh, so the future is bright, and um, we got a victory. So I'm very pleased by our performance, and um, I'm very appreciative for the fans that came out despite the weather. Coach, I didn't get to watch y'all Friday night, but what, what was different tonight than it was post Friday night, maybe at the onset? You know? Yeah, we, you know, one, right now we're just focusing um, a lot on improving every game. So there was no difference other than, well, there was a difference, but we had to go through the loss to figure out things that we needed to work on as a team. As the coaches, we've been saying it, but – you know, nothing stings and burns until you touch the hot stove. So we had to, we had to, that's the thing about this team. As we grow and learn, we're going to have to figure out ways to have success or learn from our failures so that we can um, move forward. Maybe a weird question, but you told us you're not really focusing on the results yet. Mm -hmm. So I mean, having a loss like that, I mean, does that help you at this stage of what, you know, see what, you know, that makes sense? Yeah, I mean... Here's the thing, when we go out as a team, we look at each game as a, just a one-time opportunity. And um, that's what makes March Madness so fun. So when you have a, a brand new team, that's, this is only our third game together, you have to figure out ways to get them to lock in and fight and uh, focus on the game plan. And so as a unit, we've just looked at each opportunity like a March Madness game and and what people love about March Madness is you know you don't have to be better than that team you just have to be better than that team that night and so you know that's what we talked about we knew Temple was on a two-game winning streak and I said ladies we don't have to be better than Temple we just need to be better than Temple tonight and so here's how we can be better than them and you know we we jumped on them early and uh, be, but because we don't we're not used to winning we don't know how to put four quarters together, and, and we, we will continue to do that. How big was it for you guys to be able to get those 15 minutes out of Gabby tonight? I don't know if there's a word <laughs> for how big it was to have Gabby. I, mean, I can tell you when we got the news during pregame. See, here's the thing. that What's so impressive about what Gabby did tonight is she found out two hours before the game that she was going to play. For, for the whole week, she didn't even practice with us. She was on the scout team. And for her to come and show the composure and the fight um, is, we're, I'm so pleased and happy for her. But I just know as a, as a program, we were ecstatic. We went crazy because we just know we need any kind of help. So the basketball gods were definitely on our side. <laughs> was able to have her, her best game yeah. so far in the season. Get, give your impression on her performance tonight. Um, I was very pleased with LaCaris's performance because uh, LaCaris is capable of giving this type of uh, performance every night. But sometimes she allows uh, just her anxiousness for wanting to be the one to make the play all the time get in the way. And so I mean, last game, I think she took like 13 shots and she scored six points. She took seven shots and, and scored 14. This is what she's capable of doing and being efficient. And um, I don't know. I just think Gabby helped her to be a little bit more focused, too, because now she understands that there's a different rotation that we can have. And it really made her focus in. And that's what we expect from LaCaris. Temple rallied back, tied at 30, mm -hmm. you know, went on, I believe, a second yeah. run to a bucket at the end. Then they got close to fourth and you yeah. kind of stretched out. I mean, what did you kind of learn from your team? Uh, just, well, I knew they were going to make a run. Okay, this they're not brand new. I don't know that they're – is there any team in the country that's brand new like us? You know, they're not brand new. That's a team that has been through a lot and, and played a lot of basketball together. And so I knew they were going to – actually, I was surprised how poor – uh, they came out initially because they're a, ba a good basketball team. Uh, what we did was uh, I just got the girls to relax and understand uh, um, that uh, we had to finish the game and here's how. And, and I think that that's the coach's responsibility when you have a new team 
the way that we are. And so as coaches, we just said, we're going to have to get our team through this and, and so that we can use it and watch film. Do much stat-wise. Yeah. Ten minutes for Mahogany. What were your kind of initial assessment of her out there? Um, I was pleased with Mahogany's, you know, uh, what she was able to do today. Uh, she stepped up to the challenge. As a head co as a coach, you never want to put your players in a compromising situation. But right now, um, I need everybody's attention, and I need everybody to understand that, you know, there's a standard here, and we're going to live up to it. And I didn't feel like the previous game, the standard uh, was lived up to with LaCaris and Jalea. And so I was just trying to figure out ways to light fires up under them. And I think we did that tonight uh, with both of them, even though Jalea didn't have a good offensive night. Um, I think it got their attention. And so for Mahogany to step up, you know, as a freshman and, and play and come out. And I, I gave her a plea deal. I said, look, if you if you can't do this, just tell me and I'll put someone else in and and she said she wanted to, and, and she got the job done. When is the game knowing that Mia Davis was going to be one of their best players all yeah. conference yeah. and all that kind of stuff? How, how can you guys go into the future and kind of stop those players that are those really top-level players? Yeah, just really focusing on the game plan. I mean, Mia is – she's special. I, I really like how she plays. And to be honest with you all um, – as Gabby continues to improve, like they're like spitting images of each other. I mean, just how they play. I'm just telling you, like Mia's hard right hand dominant, Gabby's hard left hand dominant, and um, we knew she wanted to go right every time, and it didn't click in our heads until like the last play, which was a key stop when she traveled because we went on a dominant hand. So just getting our players to understand the scouting report and they do it's just we're trying to get them to trust you know and and that's something that takes time and so I'm so glad we got the win tonight because they'll continue to trust the staff and that and that's just going to be a process you guys were super active on defense early in the game forcing 13 turnovers and, yeah. and everything what would you like about your group's defensive effort tonight well, you know, here's the thing. Defense, you don't have to have skill to defend. You just have to be tough and you have to be competitive. And I had really challenged our team to come out and compete at a high level. And I have I think that we are a good defensive team. We're just not a good rebounding team. So that hurts us. We get the first stop. If you look at statistics, we hold teams to 30% from the field and uh, less than 30 from the three, which we even did tonight. Um, in the first quarter, we held them to 18 percent. Like that is what we, that is what we do because you just need toughness for that. Um, and if we can keep people off the free throw line, um, we really can have a lot of success. So that's definitely something going into Sunday we want to focus on. Anything else? Thanks so much for coming out, guys. You could have copped out. I appreciate you coming with the ice. <laughs>